Welcome everyone, I'm Ashley Lillis, and today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to knit my All the Vines caplet. I love this beautiful lace stitch, and I was looking to make something that wasn't a sweater, but something that could be worn still, so I thought of this beautiful caplet design. It's knit in the round from the top down. You're gonna start with the ribbing, and then you'll move into the vine lace stitch, hence the name All the Vines. And again, if you're just looking to make something that's simple, that you can wear, that isn't a sweater this is great it's also great for a gift if you want to make something for somebody um, but you don't want to hassle with trying to figure out a sweater size so this is a great option so what you're going to want to do is grab the pattern PDF click the link in the video description and you can purchase this on Etsy or Ravelry and you will also need 24 inch 9 millimeter circular knitting needles you will need 10 millimeter 32 inch or 40 inch circular knitting needles you're gonna need a tapestry needle and you're gonna need one stitch marker. And I used three skeins of Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick Yarn. This is the color Driftwood. This is considered a super bulky weight yarn. You're gonna also wanna grab a tape measure and measure the circumference of your bust with your arms to figure out what size to make. So when I measured myself, I measured about 47 inches when I did all this. So I knit a size two. There are three sizes, sizes one, two, and three. You can look at the finished circumference, the finished measurement of the caplet and decide what makes sense for you based on how much positive ease you want. If you want very little ease, you're gonna wanna make it very close to your circumference size. If you want a lot of ease, if you want it to be very roomy, you can go up and make sure you have um, the size measures much larger than your circumference. You might also wanna grab these knitting extension cords. I'll have all the supplies linked for you in the video description. These are handy to use to attach to the end of the needles if you want to spread the stitches out and try this on as you go because you can knit this to any length you'd like. The pattern obviously offers a recommendation on how long to knit it. Um, I suggest knitting it to about your elbow here so you have room to move your, your arms around. But again, you can knit this to any length you would like. I'm excited to show you guys how to make this beautiful caplet. So let's get started. All right, so you're gonna wanna take your nine millimeter circular knitting needle and cast on the number of stitches you're supposed to cast on for your size. So if you're knitting a size two, look at the second number in the list of numbers for the cast on stitches. Make sure you have a long enough tail to cast on those stitches. You can make a slip knot and put that on the needle and start casting on, making sure your tail is in front. Now I'm going to join the work in the round, but first you need to make sure that your stitches aren't twisted. So I like to lay my work flat and make sure the cast on edge is kind of on the inside. And what you're going to do is you're going to cast on one more stitch, one extra stitch because we're going to end up dropping that stitch. So again, making sure your stitches aren't twisted. They're all on the inside of the work. We're going to join the work in the round by taking that first stitch on the left hand needle, sliding it over to the right. Take that first stitch that was on the right hand needle previously and slip it over that stitch we just slipped, drop it, pull the yarn, put your stitch marker on, and now we're ready to do one by one rib in the round. So you're gonna just start by knitting one, purling one, all the way across and make sure that long tail that you used to cast on is out of the way. You're gonna knit one, purl one, all the way across. All right, and once you get to that beginning of round stitch marker, you're just going to slip the work. And just remember, you should end on a purl stitch because we've got an even number of stitches. And you're just gonna start knitting one and purling one again. We're gonna knit the knit stitches and purl the purl stitches. Okay, I've completed 12 rounds of the one by one rib, which is just about three and a half inches. And now we are going to do some increases to expand after the collar. So this is knit from the top down. So we have the top of our 
collar finished and now we're going to increase stitches to make room for the vine lace stitch. So we are gonna do an increase round with this size needle and then we will switch to larger needles. So for this size, I am going to knit one and then knit one in the front and knit one in the back. So we just have increased one stitch. So we had two stitches, now we have three stitches. So we're gonna continue this. Knit one, knit one in the front and in the back. Knit one, knit one in the front, turn the turn and enter and knit one through the back there. Knit one, knit one in the front and in the back. So you're gonna do this all the way around until you have two stitches left. Okay, I've got two stitches left in the round. I just finished a knit one in the front and the back. When you've got two stitches left, we're gonna knit one in the front and the back in both of these stitches just so we make sure we get to our correct stitch count. All right, so now you should have 118 stitches. We've got so many stitches on this 24 inch needle we are going to switch to a bigger needle and a longer needle. Now I'm gonna take my 32 inch needle and um, I'm actually gonna just knit one stitch so my stitch marker doesn't fall out here. Um, so now I am going to take my new needle and I am going to knit every stitch all the way around here. And I'm gonna work the stitches off of my eight millimeter needle onto my nine millimeter needle or one size larger than what you just did the color with. And when, um, we're just gonna work all the way around knitting every stitch. All right, I'm almost done getting all of those stitches onto my new needle after just knitting all the way around. And I am, um, this last stitch here, I'm just gonna pull through and slide it back over here. And now I'm ready to begin round one of the vine lace stitch in the round. Now we're gonna begin round one of the vine lace stitch in the round. So there, this is a four round repeat. So we're gonna knit, um, we're gonna work rows one. Row two is just a knit. We're gonna work row three in the pattern and then row four is just the knit and then you'll just repeat round one again. So here is the stitch pattern for vine lace in the round. We're gonna start by knitting one. And then here is our repeat. Yarn over, knit two. Slip, slip, knit, slip, slip, knit. Knit two together. Knit two. Yarn over, knit one. And then you just keep repeating those nine stitches. So it's yarn over, knit two, slip, slip, knit those two stitches together, knit two together, knit two, yarn over, knit one. One more time, we'll do the repeat. Yarn over, knit two, slip, slip, knit those two stitches together, knit two together this way, knit two stitches, yarn over, knit one. And then you'll just keep doing the nine row, the nine stitch repeat all the way around. I'm working all the way around. I've got my nine stitches left, so I have one more repeat left. So it's yarn over, knit two, slip, slip, knit those two stitches together, knit two together this way. Then it's knit two, 
yarn over, knit one. And if you're off for some reason, it means you made a mistake. So just be careful, take it slowly, make sure you always remember your yarn overs. Um, and then to do round two, we are simply going to just knit every round. So knit every stitch, I mean. Knit every stitch and then just make sure to be careful once you get to the yarn overs, you simply just knit those stitches. That's what creates the pretty holes in the lace work. So you just knit every round for round two. I am finishing round two now, and then let's start on round three. So you will slip the stitch marker. And basically just note that the nine stitch repeat is the same. We're just shifting where it is. So before we started with the knit one on a round one, now we're just simply starting with the nine stitch repeat for round three. So we're just shifting where it is. Okay, so for round three, it is simply a yarn over, knit two, slip, slip, knit, knit two together, knit two, yarn over, knit one, and then we do the repeat again. Yarn over, knit two, slip, slip, knit those two together, knit two together this way, knit two, yarn over, knit one, and then you continue that nine stitch repeat. So this is what it looks like. Um, I will show you what it looks like at the end of the round. So just continue the repeats all the way around. Yarn over, knit two, Slip, slip, knit, two together there, knit two together this way, knit two, yarn over, knit one. All right, I'm on my last repeat because I have 10 stitches left. So you're gonna do the last repeat, which is yarn over, knit two, slip, slip, knit, two stitches together, knit two stitches together this way. Then you're gonna do a knit two, yarn over, knit one, and then you should be at the very last stitch, so you will knit that stitch. Okay, now we are on a round four, so you're going to slip that stitch marker and simply knit every stitch all of the way around. I just have finished the fourth round now, round four. So now you're just gonna start with a round one and you're just gonna keep repeating rounds one through four to the length that the pattern says from the cast down edge or the length that you would like. Okay, I just wanted to show you what it's looking like now after I've completed about 12 rounds, so I've completed the repeat about three times, so the work is looking like this now. So you'll just continue on repeating rounds one through four now. All right, I've knit for a while here, and I have tried on the caplet um, using one of these knitting extension cords. I have these linked for you in the video description if you wanna check them out, but they're great because you just connect them to the end of your needles and you connect them to the end of the needles just like that, you push them on and then you can push the stitches off of the needles onto the cord a little bit. You don't have to do the whole thing just so you can see how this is fitting you. And then you can just remove the extension cord and push the work back onto the knitting needles when you're ready to work it. So I knit to the length I would like to knit my caplet. I have tried it on. You can reference the pattern and the suggested length, but feel free to change the length as much as you like. And then you wanna make sure you end after a knit round, a full knit round. And 
Okay, so I have all my stitches back on my needles. I've removed my extension cord. All right, now we're just going to knit one by one rib. I am not going down in needle size because I don't want this to be really tight on the bottom. So I am just going to knit one by one rib in the same needle size. If you would like to go down a needle size, feel free but I am going to keep the 10 millimeter needle size or the same needle size I knit the body of the caplet in. So that's just reference. So you're gonna do one by one rib all of the way around. All right, when you get to the end of the round, just slip that stitch marker and keep working in one by one rib. All right, and after you've completed three rounds of the one by one rib, it's gonna be time to bind off and I'll show you how to bind off. All right, once you finish the last stitch, you're gonna slip the marker and you're gonna to start to bind off in the one by one rib. So we are going to knit one, purl one, slip that first stitch over the stitch we just worked. And now we will knit the next stitch because the next stitch is a knit stitch and we're gonna bind off. Purl, bind off, knit, bind off purl, bind off. So you're working in the established pattern, knit, bind off, purl, knit, purl. You're already working in the one by one rib. You're just binding off each stitch as you go and it starts to look like that. So continue doing this all the way around and I'll show you what to do once you get to the end. you're nearing the end of the round and you only have a few stitches left, you continue working until you only have one stitch left. So you'll bind off, you'll have one stitch left, you'll cut a little tail here, you'll pull the yarn gently through, move your needles, grab your tapestry needle, weave the ends the tail through the tapestry needle. And then you're gonna to wanna to close up the ribbing. I usually go through like this. And then just kind of come back through this way. And then to, you're gonna just start weaving in your ends here. I just like to go up the work like this and you can pull the yarn through a little bit. Take off your tapestry needle, snip the yarn, and then you're gonna to wanna to do the same thing, just weaving your yarn in up here, cut the tail, and then you'll be done. Here it is, finished. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed making your beautiful caplet. I hope you enjoy wearing it or gifting it to someone else and I will see you in the next video.